now for conducting sales reviews a small checklist that will help you when you're sitting with your sales team and you're trying to do a review one of course is the kind of technology stack you're using having a crm of course is at the core of it all a sales crm would really help you in terms of analyzing your entire forecasting your entire sales pipeline and also understanding where your gaps are in terms of weekly review there are as the like the stages that i mentioned it's important that you look at the prospecting that's happening now whether you have a pre sales team or your sales team is doing the prospecting you need to ensure that the number of outbound calls emails social media touches uh, accounts or opportunities created are being maintained because that's at the top of your funnel now deal analysis karte waqt don't be um, very eager or don't be very biased to look at only what is going to close in the next week or next month or within a couple of days or within a few days you have to look at every pipeline stage so in progress deals hote hain jahan pe you are looking at what exactly has the stage duration been how long has this deal been sitting here is this something that's not going to lead to a closure should i just drop it here committed deals are deals which we are tempted to know more about because this is going to be ha abhi aane wala hai 90% of these deals will give me money overall pipeline movement bhi usko monitor karna padta hai that if there are deals which are sitting in a let's say re meeting ho gaya multiple demos ho gaye But the client is not moving again. It's very possible they are not able to see value. You will have to do other actions to move them down the pipeline. But don't depend on them to be closed in the next month or so. That might not happen. Of course, take an update on last meetings, tasks, and uh, meetings. Any help that the sales team needs. In monthly review, get your entire sales team together. Couple of things that you should check. One is, of course, look at the deals that you could win that you thought would not be possible. so look at what went right and learn best practices from that uh what can possibly be improved these are deals which uh, you lost why did you lose them learnings from that slip deals are deals that have just moved to next month so there are learnings there also in terms of how you can create collaterals or content on convincing the decision makers it could be something about how the competitors behaving in the market and what you need to do to deal with that and of course market dynamics that's something that you also get to know from the team because they are on the ground talking to people so try and understand whether the team is moving on the growth path that they have aligned look at at least two to three new skills that they can pick up for the quarter right so analyze their target versus achievement ratio uh what is the average ticket size they are able to convince or get from the customer then of course the team will also have things that they can give you feedback on which can be improved at a team or an organization level